Now we need to connect the three times table and the six times table. Every number that's in the six times table is also in the three times table. Every multiple of six is also a multiple of three. So on this top number line, we can show the three times table. And on this number line down here, we can show the six times table. So we have three, then six, and then the six times table, we start with six. Now we've got six counters all together for two times three, and we've got six counters for one times six. Now if we keep going, we have nine, and then 12, and if we keep going with our six times table, two times six is 12. You can see that we've now got six more counters in our three times table, and then of course we've got another six counters in our six times table as well. If we continue counting in threes, we have 15 and then 18, and the next multiple of six is also 18. We've made six more counters in our three times table by jumping to 15 and then 18. And of course, we've got six more counters for our six times table. Then the next multiples of three are 21 and 24. And 24 is also the next multiple of six. We have six counters here and six more counters in our six times table. If we keep counting, we get 27 and then 30, and 30 is the next multiple of 6 as well. We can continue 33 and then 36, so 12 times 3 is 36, but 6 times 6 is also 36. To finish off our 6 times table, we get 42, then 48, 54, 60, 66, and 72. And all of these numbers would also be in our three times table if we kept on counting in threes. Now to see the connection here, we have our three times table and our six times table written out. If we double what's in the three times table, we get what's in the six times table. Remember, we double by adding a number to itself or multiplying by 2. So 3 times 2 is 6, 6 times 2 is 12, 9 times 2 is 18, and so on. Or, looking at it the other way, if we halve what's in the 6 times table, we get what's in the 3 times table. Remember, we find half of a number, or halve a number, by dividing it by 2. 6 divided by 2 is 3, 12 divided by 2, or half of 12, is 6, 18 divided by 2, or half of 18, is 9, and so on. You can see that numbers in the 6 times table are always also numbers in the 3 times table. So we have 6 as 1 times 6, and 2 times 3. We have 12 as 2 times 6, or 4 times 3, we have 18 as 3 times 6, or 6 times 3, we have 24 as 4 times 6, or 8 times 3, and spot that 8 is double 4, 2 times 4 is 8, we have 30 in both the 6 and the 3 times table, and we have 36, and if we continued counting in 3s, we would have all our other numbers that are in the six times table in the three times table as well. If we kept on writing out our three times table after 12 times three. So you can see that if we count in threes twice, we've counted in sixes. We have six counters altogether. If we count in threes again twice, we have the same as two times six. So 2 times 3 plus 2 times 3 is 2 times 6. If we keep counting, we have 18 counters altogether because we've got 9 counters twice. And notice 3 times 6, the third multiple of 6, 
is 18. We can keep on going, so if we have 12 counters twice, we have 24 counters, doubling the 3 times table, so showing the 3 times table twice shows us the 6 times table, because we can see that in each of our lines downwards we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 counters altogether. So we can keep going, because 5 times 6 is 30, then 6 times 6 is 36, 7 times 6 is 42, and 42 is double 21. If we do 21 times 2, or 21 plus 21, we get 42. 8 times 6 is 48. 9 times 6 is 54. 10 times 6 is 60, so that's double 10 times 3. If we show 10 times 3 twice, we've shown 10 times 6. Then we have 66 for 11 times 6. And 12 times 6 is 72. Or we can show it the other way. If we have our 6 times table, we can split the counters that we have in half, so get rid of half of our counters, and then we have the 3 times table. Or on a 100 square, we can colour in all multiples of 3. So if we kept on counting up in 3s after 36, we would have all the numbers that are coloured in blue here. Now if we show the 6 times table, we can see that all multiples of 6, so all the numbers that are coloured in now, were also coloured in when we were colouring in our multiples of 3.